Have you ever wondered which creature is more venomous, the Sydney funnelweb spider or the Deathstalker scorpion? Well, you're in for a treat because today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the most venomous arachnids on the planet. Our first contender hails from the land down under, the Sydney funnelweb spider, scientifically known as Atrax robustus. This spider is not just any ordinary arachnid, it's one of the most venomous spiders in the world. This creature has a robust, shiny body that ranges from medium to large size and is usually darkly colored. It's renowned for its unique web-weaving style, creating silky, tube-like structures in moist, shady habitats. Now let's move from the Australian bushland to the arid deserts of the Middle East and North Africa, where our second contender, the Deathstalker scorpion, or Laerus quinquestriatus, lurks. This scorpion is not just terrifying by name, it's one of the most venomous scorpions in existence. It's recognizable by its yellow-brown body, slender tail, and formidable pincers. Despite its menacing appearance, it's a nocturnal creature, preferring the cover of darkness in its desert habitat. Now you may ask, what does it mean for a creature to be venomous? Well, a venomous creature is one that produces a toxin, usually delivered through a bite or sting. Venom is a potent mix of proteins and enzymes designed to immobilize or kill prey and deter predators. It's a survival tool in the wild, a potent weapon in the arsenal of these small but deadly creatures. So as we venture into this thrilling comparison, it's important to remember that while these creatures are incredibly fascinating, they're also extremely dangerous. Their venom has the power to cause severe harm, even death, in humans and other animals. Now that we know our contenders, let's dive deeper into their venomous properties. Let's start with the Sydney Funnel Web Spider, a creature feared by many Australians. This eight-legged menace, known scientifically as Atrax robustus, is renowned for its potent venom. The venom is a complex cocktail of toxins, each with its own deadly purpose. The main component, a toxin named Robustoxin, is particularly lethal to primates, including us, humans. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider delivers this venom through its large fangs, which are longer than those of some snakes. These fangs can penetrate shoe leather, making an encounter with this spider a real cause for concern. Once bitten, the venom quickly makes its way into the victim's system, causing a range of distressing symptoms. The effects on humans are fast and severe. Early symptoms include sweating, tingling around the mouth and lips, and elevated heart rate. As the venom spreads, it can cause high blood pressure, difficulty breathing, and eventually, it can lead to unconsciousness. In severe cases, if left untreated, the venom can be fatal. Now, you might be thinking that this sounds like something out of a horror movie, but this is not fiction. The severity of the Sydney funnel-web spider's bite has been extensively studied, and the scientific consensus supports these claims. Experts from the Australian Museum and the University of Sydney have all contributed to our understanding of this creature's venomous bite. Fortunately, an effective anti-venom was developed in the early 1980s, and since then, no fatalities have been recorded. However, the speed at which the venom acts means that quick medical attention is essential. It's important to remember that despite their fearsome reputation, Sydney funnel-web spiders are not out to get us. They are more interested in hunting their natural prey, such as insects and small vertebrates. Their venomous bite is merely a defense mechanism, a way for them to protect themselves when they feel threatened. It's clear that the Sydney funnel-web spider is a formidable contender, but how does it compare to the Deathstalker scorpion? Let's find out in the next segment. Next. Moving on to our second contender, the Deathstalker scorpion, a creature that haunts the deserts of the Middle East and North Africa. This creature, known scientifically as Laurus quinquestriatus, is not only one of the most venomous scorpions, but is also one of the most venomous creatures on Earth. The Deathstalker scorpion, despite its small size of about 4 inches, carries a potent venom that makes it a formidable creature in the wild. The venom, a cocktail of neurotoxins and cardiotoxins, is delivered to its victim through a sharp, curved stinger at the end of its tail, which it can whip over its back with lightning speed. When the Death Stalker strikes, its venom immediately starts attacking the nervous system. Victims often experience excruciating pain, fever, convulsions, and in extreme cases even paralysis and heart failure. And while healthy adults may survive a sting, it can be lethal for children, the elderly, or those with heart conditions. But, let's not overlook the silver lining. Scientists and medical researchers have found immense value in this deadly venom. The venom's components, particularly the peptide chlorotoxin, 
have shown potential in treating brain tumors and regulating insulin levels in diabetes patients. In fact, some experts argue that the death stalker scorpion's venom could be more beneficial to humans than harmful, if properly harnessed. These fascinating creatures with their potent venom and potential medical benefits have been the subject of numerous studies and documentaries. The Deathstalker scorpion, despite its menacing name and deadly sting, is a creature that continues to intrigue scientists and nature enthusiasts around the world. With such a potent venom, the Deathstalker scorpion certainly gives the Sydney funnel web spider a run for its money, but who is the most venomous? This question continues to spark debates among experts and enthusiasts alike. The answer, as we'll find out, is not as straightforward as one might think. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this venomous face-off. Now that we've explored both contenders, it's time to compare their venom side by side. Starting with the Sydney funnel web spider, the venom of this species is known for its potency. It contains a cocktail of toxins that can wreak havoc on the nervous system. The main component, a neurotoxin called robustatoxin, works by blocking electrical signaling in the body. This can lead to symptoms ranging from muscle spasms and vomiting to more serious effects like heart failure. How does the spider deliver this lethal concoction? Well, it employs its large fangs which can pierce even through toenails and soft shoes. Once bitten, the venom rapidly spreads, and without immediate medical attention, the effects can prove fatal. Now let's shift our focus to the Death Stalker Scorpion. Its venom too is a complex mix of neurotoxins, with the most potent one being the peptide chlorotoxin. This toxin interferes with the regulation of ions in the body, causing an overload of electrical signals. The result? Extreme pain, fever, convulsions, and in severe cases, paralysis or death. The Death Stalker delivers its venom through a sharp stinger at the end of its tail which it can whip out with surprising speed and accuracy. Although death is rare in healthy adults, the venom can be particularly dangerous to children, the elderly, or those with heart conditions. In comparing the two, it's clear that both venoms are incredibly potent and can cause serious harm to humans. However, the effects of the venom, the delivery method, and the potential for fatality greatly depend on the individual's health, the amount of venom injected, and how quickly medical treatment is received. Scientific research and expert opinions suggest that while the Sydney funnel web spider's venom is more potent, the death stalker scorpion's venom is more lethal due to its ability to cause systemic effects more rapidly. Both creatures have incredibly potent venom, but one has to be the most venomous. So who is it? After comparing the venom of the Sydney funnel web spider and the death stalker scorpion, it's time to reveal the most venomous creature. The moment of truth is upon us, and it's time to crown the reigning champion of venom. After considering the potency of their venom, the frequency of their attacks, and the fatality rates of their bites and stings, the most venomous creature between these two formidable contenders is the Sydney funnel web spider. Now you may wonder, what makes the venom of the Sydney funnel web spider the most potent? The answer lies in its unique cocktail of toxins, specifically a component known as robustoxin. This molecule, found only in the venom of this spider, can be lethal to humans and primates. It works by poking holes in the cells of the nervous system, leading to a cascade of symptoms culminating in a potentially fatal outcome. But it's not just the potency of the venom that sets the Sydney funnel web spider apart. It's also their aggressive nature and the frequency of their bites. Unlike the death stalker scorpion which tends to avoid confrontation, the Sydney funnel web spider is known to be quite defensive, often biting multiple times during an encounter. This increases the likelihood of a venomous bite, and thus, the risk to humans. However, let's not forget the vital role these creatures play in our ecosystem. The Sydney funnel web spider, despite its fearsome reputation, is a crucial part of the food chain, controlling the population of insects and small invertebrates. Similarly, the death stalker scorpion with its venom, contributes to medical research providing compounds that are being studied for their potential in treating a variety of health conditions. So there you have it, the most venomous creature between the Sydney funnel web spider and the death stalker scorpion is the Sydney funnel web spider. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding these creatures can help us respect their role in nature and avoid unnecessary encounters. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. So that's all from Discovery Wonder. See you next time and follow the channel.